Hi everyone! This video will help you to get started with WorkFusion RPA Express. RPA Express is software designed to help a new user with automating manual tasks, like copying and pasting data from one source to another, sorting emails, locating and extracting information in PDF documents, and many other use cases. Let's launch the application. The first thing you see after starting RPA Express is the tray menu. The tray menu helps you to manage all components that RPA Express has. Here you can launch WorkFusion Studio, start Control Tower and Workspace, manage your bots, start Stop OCR, and open Platform Monitor and File Storage. To start creating recordings, launch WorkFusion Studio and define the location of your workspace. Tick the checkbox if you don't want to see this window again. And press OK. When you launch WorkFusion Studio for the first time, the welcome window appears. Here you can watch video tutorials, run recording examples, and find useful links to training materials. Let's close the welcome window and move to RPA Recorder. To create a new recording, press the Start New Recording button on the toolbar menu. Type the name and press OK. RPA Recorder consists of four main parts – Actions Library, Recorder Variables, Media Files tab and Actions Flow area. If any of these parts isn't open in the Recorder window, you can open it by clicking Window – Show View. There are two ways to create a recording. The first one is to capture your actions from the screen automatically. Press Replace with new recording, perform the actions you want and press Stop. As you can see, the recorder has captured all your actions. Let's play the captured recording. You can see what actions the bot is performing on the running timer in the bottom right corner. It also has buttons to pause or stop script execution. That's it. If you want to edit specific action parameters, you can do it in the Action Properties. To capture additional steps for the existing recording, Press the Insert Recording button. This panel also has buttons to publish the recording to Control Tower and export it as a bot task or Groovy code. But in more complicated cases, automatic capturing isn't enough, and you may need to create a recording manually using built in actions in the Actions library. To add an action to your recording, you just need to select the required action and drag it to the Actions flow. For example, let's create a small script to open Notepad and type in Hello World. To copy the action, hold the Ctrl button and drag it to the required part in your recording. To delete the action, select it and press the Delete button on keyboard, or use right-click Delete. If you don't know what a specific action does, you can hover the cursor and click the link for more information. In the Recorder Variables panel, you can create, edit or delete your variables. Variables are used for storing initial or runtime data of different types. Let's create a variable and put a text value in it.
You can edit variable value, type and name whenever you need. To delete the variable, select it and press this button. In the Media Files tab, you can find all your recordings, execution logs and other files stored in your workspace. For example, we can open another recording. Or rename it right there. If you enable link with editor mode, the Media Files tab will automatically show your active recordings folder. On the toolbar menu, you can find the Settings button, where you can adjust RPA Express parameters. To view and edit RPA Recorder settings, go to WorkFusion Studio, RPA Recorder. The toolbar also contains the button to open the Inspector tool. Inspector allows you to capture object selectors used for automating desktop applications. These were the main things you need to know to start using WorkFusion RPA Express. For more tutorials and learning materials, check out our YouTube channel Knowledge Base and Automation Academy.